Hey all, welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Um, today we'll be continuing on Lent in Plain Sight with Jill Duffold. Um, we've done dust and cross and bread. Um, and this week, uh, it's it's coins. Um, and I have two right here, a penny and a quarter. Um, which is an interesting topic, because uh, there's lots of coin conversation in the Bible from sort of the woman who finds, you know, goes on the long search for the one lost coin, or the woman who brings simply two coins and puts them in the offering. Um, and these conversations, uh, the first one she really brings up is is the one that stuck with me, the one for Sunday. Um, and we look at our, our money, and it has a, has a face on it. Mr. Abe, good old George. And they have faces on them. And, and, and the question that's asked, the scripture used, is, is that conversation about whether it's lawful to pay taxes. And Jesus' response, um, you know, that, that the, hip, the hypocrisy one, knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to him, why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and let me see. And then it goes on to say, you give, what, uh, you give to Caesar what is Caesar's and you give to God what is God. Um and and it's it's interesting when we look at our our, our money and whose whose face is on it um, and that's what I think Jesus is pointing out quite a lot because on the denarius it's Caesar's face and so you just give that back give the earthly thing back it um, a you can't take it with you but beyond that it, it's it's not the it's not the end all be all it's not the most important. Um, you give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and you give to God what is God. And he then goes on to say, we cannot serve two masters. That word's a funny word, master. It sounds a little um, archaic. Brings conjures up images of, of unpleasant things that we don't want to think about, though, though maybe we should. But Lent is the perfect time to think about what has power over us? Beyond that, what has ultimate power over us? Is it Abe? George? Is it Benjamin? That might have a little more power than Abe and George. Is it former presidents? Is it former emperors? Is it, is it Ford? Is it Chevy? We can't serve two masters. Jesus says it outright. Lent is the time to rediscover who our master is, who we serve, who we give all of who we are to, what we put, in the words of Paul Tillich, as our ultimate concern. Paul Tillich says that there's no such thing really as an atheist, the theologian Paul Tillich. He says there's, there's not really such thing as an atheist. Everybody believes in something not believe in God, but that doesn't make you an atheist because you believe in something, you have an ultimate concern. You have something that you put first and foremost, whether it's work, family, money, uh, degrees, titles, whatever. We all put our complete concern in something. We all are servants to something. Um, we all allow something or try to allow multiple things to, to be the master over us, to be the Lord over us. And the conversation Jesus has about taxes is, is you give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Give it back. Who cares? Move on. But you give to God what is God. And, and the only thing that is God's, is, well, is you, is me. We're in the image of the Creator. We have the imprint of the divine, each and every one of us. And Lent is the quintessential time to remember that imprint is on us, each and every one of us. And that's what we're supposed to give back. We can't serve two masters. We've got to give ourselves to God. And, and, and it doesn't mean that we can't work and we can't, we can't earn money and we can't. But when that becomes the only thing we're concerned about, not about doing the good work that God calls us to do, not about praising God, not about seeking God like the woman seeks after the lost coin God seeks after us in the same way we seek after our faith 
I think it also conjoins with the woman with two coins. And, and Jill talks about this, and I never thought about this before, but he, Jesus points her out. She brings in the two coins and, and, and she puts them in there, and it's all she had to give. And, oh, it's such a great testimony to generosity. But does Jesus point her out because no one's taking concern of her plight in life? Because they're more concerned about the denarius and not the image of God on that person. We can't serve two masters. When we serve this or, or the thing that's not God as our master, we, we don't live into our true calling. To be those who care for those around us, to be those who love the orphan, the widow, the outcast, the stranger. And our world falls. Like Rome. Lent is our chance to reorient ourselves to our true master, to the one we serve, to the one we love, to the one that calls us, the one that marks us, the one that claims us. So that maybe, so that maybe we can reclaim our world, our communities, by living out active love profound hospitality, excessive generosity. Because we're not focused on what's Caesar's, but we're focused on what's God's. May you all have a blessed week. Look forward to seeing you soon.